Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another NASCAR Diecast review. Today, we'll take a look at the Ross Chastain 2022 Coda Race Win 124 scale ARC Diecast produced by Lionel Racing. Now, I picked mine up from my friends over at CircleBDiecast.com. I'll link their website in the video description below. Before we get to the Diecast itself, let's go and take a quick look at the stat card. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to read it. There you go, there's the front. March 27, 2022, Austin, Texas, Circuit of the Americas. Here is the back of the stat card. Once again, if you'd like to read that, pause the video. There is your stat card. Let's go ahead and take a look at the awesome diecast now, starting off the wind on the front windshield. You can't really see much because of the green and white confetti, which if you look close is shaped like Texas, which is awesome detail that they did that. You got your simulated uh, windshield wiper going on the windshield there. You do have some decals for your window banner like you would normally have. You got your cooling duct work there, but it's hard to see, as well as a little bit of Chastain's last name right here. So that is the front windshield going on to the hood here. We have Onyx Homes. This whole paint scheme is fantastic. It's a like a digital camouflage and flat black. We do have silver painted details for your hood pins. Of course, iFly right there. Chevrolet Z01 Trackhouse Racing, of course, number one. We have grill detail and right below that right there above my finger we do have your simulated uh, TV camera. We do have your carbon fiber notched out front splitter with one little piece of confetti right there. There is dirt and grime but it's black car so it's speckled on. You can see it here but it's a little hard to see since it blends in. In front of the tires there we have Sunoco. Of course above the tires we have Goodyear in yellow. As I mentioned there is your like camouflage into flat black. We do have some nice race marking details on your next gen Goodyear Eagles, low profile tires. Got all the tire markings that you'd expect from pit road and him making contact on the last lap of the race there. That looks fantastic. If you look behind the single lug wheel, we do have rotor detail. It looks fantastic. Moving along to the side of the car, we have NASCAR Cup Series as well as the chrome foil number one. That is an awesome little detail on the die cast. Down here on the side skirt rocker box we do have the silver detail for your exhaust. We have Zeus fasteners going along that as well as cooling vents here on the rocker box. Got the day glow orange marking for the jack post. Advent health in front of the rear tires. I fly indoor, indoor skydiving. Cloth window net. Of course interior details hard to see but it's in there. Up on the roof row we have Ross Chastain and the little watermelon man uh, mascot logo. Up on the roof we do have the number one, of course the front camera right there and rear camera right here. Onyx Homes. We do have functioning roof flaps. Got detailed molded in detail anyways of the escape hatch right there. More Texas shaped green and white confetti. On the C post there we have Chevrolet, Moose and Advent Health. On the C post we have BeAMoose.org. You got all your silver painted details for your uh, side quarter window fasteners and everything right there. Got a little bit of confetti build up here on the rear quarter panel. Rear window. Got Chastain and more confetti. Of course they made a total of 960 of these uh, Chastain Coda race wins in ARC version. They did do uh, elites. Not sure total production on those. Back here on the deck lid which does not open we do have iFly. Got the shark fin detail on the side there. There's your rear spoiler. Got the Lexan part on top with the zero silver details for your fasteners. Chevrolet, Onyx Homes, Camaro. Of course, track house. Number one, simulated taillight details for your Camaros. Camaro Z01. There's your rear diffuser sticking out the bottom of the bumper. Bottom of the car. Here he goes. Just your normal underwing with uh, diffuser rakes and all that stuff. This is the AR ARC, so you got working steering as you can see there, opening hood which we will get to, and functioning roof flaps. The deck lid does not open on the ARCs, just on your Elite, so you don't have any hinges sticking out the deck lid area right there. Well, on the right side of the car, you got a little damage down here by Siemens, which is on both sides of the quarter panel. Got some tire markings around the wheel well and everything on the right side. No window. Being that it's a road course on the right side, there's no windows on those or the short tracks. There's your serial number inside. Hard to focus. I think it's like 576, I believe. There's your red fire extinguishers. Full carbon fiber, full containment seat. 
digital dash detail, mirrors, all the great details in there. So again, there's your exhaust. The right front tire looks a little cleaner than the left front. Same with the right rear. Go ahead and see if I can get this hood to open up. There's your engine detail. On the inside of the hood, we just have Chevrolet. So, as I mentioned, working steering. Overall, it's a 10 out of 10 die cast. I, I really don't see anything to, you know, give it less than a 10 out of 10. The 164 scale would have been a 10 out of 10, which I reviewed on the channel. Look for that on the 2022 NASCAR playlist. Um, the, 20, the 164 would have been 10 out of 10 if they would just do confetti on the 164s on the windshield. But this here is a complete car. No complaints. Get all the confetti where it needs to be. All of the race markings where it should be. Got the get bioethanol ring right there with Siemens below it. All the nice details on the rear, right, uh, left rear wheels and tires look fantastic. I mean, this is a perfect car. And I think... Honestly, the best place to get it right now is probably eBay because Circle B Diecast no longer has it in stock. Lionel Racing sold out of it pretty quick. They might have it in stock. I don't know. You'll have to check out LionelRacing.com for that. So, yeah, that is my review of the Ross Chastain 2022 iFly Onyx Homes Coda Racewind 124 scale ARC produced by Lionel Racing. If you enjoyed this review, Give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAceTrain69. Once again, check out CircleBDieCast.com for all your NASCAR diecast uh, needs. They have a great uh, assortment, so check them out in the link in the video description below. Hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.